and good day to everyone. I'm Kathleen and um, today I'm going to do the episode 2 of my everyday tutorial which is this look. The shadow that I use on my eyes is um, this NYX palette right here and hope I'm just gonna zoom it out. So there you go. When you open the palette, it looks like this. There's uh, nine shadows right there. And uh, two lipsticks. Which is, this is the, the bronzy color lipstick and uh, baby pink. Which is like, yeah, a pink color lipstick. If you like this look and if you want to learn how to do this, just Stay tuned and hopefully you enjoy my tutorial and see you guys later. First, I'm gonna take my Almay Smooth and Line Hydrates All Day as my primer. I'm just mixing the product up the back of my hand and spread it out all over my face. Using a primer makes your foundation stay longer. Taking your favorite foundation, I'm using Estee Lauder Double Wear Stays in Place Makeup. Then using my Round Kabuki Brush by Sigma and apply the foundation all over your face. Make sure when you apply your foundation, don't forget to bring the foundation down to your neck to make your skin tone even more. Now taking my Avon Loose Powder in Natural and using my stippling brush from Gloss Professional then apply the loose powder to set your foundation. Also, applying powder after your foundation gives you a matte finish. Now I'm just gonna reach my CoverGirl Smoky Shadow Blast. Using my middle finger, I'm just going to blend the eyeshadow all over my lid and blend it out gently. Reaching my large shader brush, I'm going to take the gold color eyeshadow. Make sure you top the excess and apply it toward to your inner third of your eye. Gradually pat the eyeshadow gently and blend it out. Now, get your small shader brush and taking the bronzy color eyeshadow and apply it to your outer corner of your eyes. Blend the eyeshadow up to your crease line all the way to the center of your crease and just blend it out softly. Now take your blending brush and blend the two eyeshadow together to create a softer look and clean the edges. Now get the gold eyeshadow again using the small shader brush. Just getting a small amount of the eyeshadow and apply it just under my lower lash line. Blending from the inner going to the center of my lower lid. Now taking the bronzy eyeshadow and apply it to the outer corner of my lower lash line. Now using my pencil brush, using the same palette of NYX, then take the color black and apply it just to your outer corner of your eye and just focus the color on that area. Bring the color up to your crease line and blending it out to soften the look. Now, take the black eyeshadow again using the crease brush 
and apply it to your outer corner of your lower lid. Now take your blending brush again and blend your eyeshadow back and forth to take away the harsh line. Now get your black eye pencil. I'm using Avon Limer Sticks Long Lasting Black Eye Pencil. And I'm just gonna run the black eyeliner onto my waterline. After your waterline, don't forget to apply some on your tight line too. Now take your liquid liner. I'm using NYX Liquid Studio Liner in Extreme Smoky Gray. And just apply the product closer to your lash line. By doing this procedure, making a cut eye shape makes your eyes more emphasized and gives you a glamour look. Now, if you think that you need more eyeshadow to your eyes, just go ahead and get the eyeshadow and apply it to the area that you need more color. So I just took the black eyeshadow again and applied it to the outer corner of my eye just to darken the area. Now take your blending brush again and blend the eyeshadow to create a softer look. Now get your smaller brush like this and take the color gold eyeshadow and just go back and apply it to the inner third of your lid down to your tear duct and under your lower lash line. Now to highlight your brow bone, I'm using Gesso by MAC and using a small shader brush, I'm just gonna take the eyeshadow and apply it to my brow bone. You can use any white eyeshadow in this procedure, just make sure that the eyeshadow is matte. Now to fill my brows, I'm using the darker color of my Fashion 21 eyebrow and palette. And using an angle brush like this, I'm just gonna start filling my brows. When I do my brows, I usually start from the inner end going to the outer end of my brow hair. And then I'm just gonna build it up to create a nice shape. Always remember when you do your eyebrows, Make sure the color that you choose is two times lighter of your hair and just follow your hairline to make it more natural. Now take your concealer. I'm using CoverGirl which is lighter than my skin. And using my ring finger, I'm just gonna blend the concealer out. I choose a lighter shade of a concealer with this look because not just covering my dark circle, it is because I want to create a highlight under my eye. Now getting my F82 Round Kabuki Brush by Sigma and I'm just gonna blend my concealer to make it more even and to have a flawless finish. Now take your favorite bronzer, I'm using Essence Sun Club Blondes for lighter skin and using a angle brush by Sigma which is the F84 I'm just gonna apply the bronzer to the hollow of my cheeks then up to the temple of your head and blend it gently Contouring your face is really important because it gives you a color and a frame to your face. Normally, I put some bronzer on my nose too and under my jawline. And now to our cheek, I'm using Pinch Me by I'm using a flat kabuki brush F80 by Sigma and just apply it to the apple on my cheek. Most of the time, I normally blend my blush along with my bronzer and bring it up but not too high. 
now, I'm taking my NYX Lip Liner at the shade of Sand Pink. Then apply your lip liner onto your lips by lining it and create a shape and soften it with the lip brush. Now get your NYX palette again and take the pink lipstick and apply it all over your lips. Now take your clear lip gloss with glitter and apply it at the center of your lips. Now get your lash curler and curl your eyelashes. To complete our look and to add glam on our eyes, I'm gonna take my Revlon Lash Adhesive and glue on your favorite fake lashes. Now take your favorite mascara. I'm using Essence Multi Action Smoky Eyes Mascara and apply it to your fake and real lashes. Also, don't forget to put some mascara on your bottom lash. Now we're done with our look. Okay guys, and this is the finished look of my tutorial today. I hope you like um, the way I put my eyeshadow. And um, if you will have any questions or um, questions about the products that I use or anything that you can think of, just you know, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe and hit like if you like this look. And hope to see you guys again and thank you so much. Bye-bye.